Good morning, Connections. Glad you're here. We have been talking this week about love and the application of love and the importance of loving everyone that comes through that door. To love our brothers and sisters, to love those that are just coming into relationship and loving the stranger, the one who doesn't share our beliefs. We've witnessed throughout Romans 15 the importance of taking better care of ourselves and that we will be held responsible. And yesterday we talked of rekindling hope or blessing those that are, are just arriving with new hope, the hope that tomorrow is better than today and the long range hope that Jesus will return and get us out of here so that we might experience God's glory in full for all of eternity. But there's one last stop, and we're going to dip a toe into Romans 16. Greet each other with a sacred kiss. All the churches of Christ send you their greeting. We have a family of believers beyond Connections Church that are moving in the same direction as, as you and I. And we must be able to recognize them through God's eyes that they are at work in their body of Christ as we work in ours. Don't ever believe that you are the last one, that our generation is the last of the believers. God is, is working through the hearts of the church right now. He is bringing the next generation online so that they too can be reached. Do not lose hope. It is our job to finish our race well. And we pray for all of our brothers and sisters around the world that they will finish well too. So when we come across someone who, a fellow believer that has, has given their life and demonstrated a life transformed before others, let's greet them with the love and the kindness, not with suspicion. The final thing that Paul wants to, to convey to the, the church in Rome is there also be a group of people that, that show up that do not share our belief. And we need to ask the Holy Spirit for the discernment to know who our brothers and sisters truly are and who has been planted. What are those weeds that have been planted in, in God's fertile field to cause strife. So that's where we pick up here in Romans 16 and 17. And now I make one more appeal, my dear brothers and sisters, watch out for people who cause divisions and upset people's faith by teaching things contrary to what you have been taught. Stay away from them. Such people are not serving Christ our Lord. They are serving their own personal interest. By smooth talk and glowing words, they deceive innocent people. That's why it's important for us to be in a role of taking care of one another. The devil loves to isolate and, and create division and then send these smooth talking individuals to fill them with lies and false gospels. We must be ever vigilant to make sure that God's flock is kept secure. And that too is part of our responsibility to share the love of Christ and make sure that they do not go astray. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for this, the believers those who sacrifice, those that you have called, those that have answered the call and are giving every bit of themselves just as you have called us to. It is encouraging to be exposed to other bodies of Christ, other fellowships that are moving towards you and accomplishing the mission that you have set on their hearts to accomplish. Lord, help us to celebrate what you're accomplishing within Connections Church and throughout the church community. But help us remain vigilant. 
keeping an eye for those that sound as if they are, are rooted in you, but betray themselves by the fruit that they bear. Help us not fall for new, new gospels and, and new ideas when all we rely on, Lord, is you and your word. We desire to finish well, Lord. We desire not to cause anyone to stumble. We desire to be protected against those that would cause us to stumble. Help us be sincere so that we do not do damage to those that you have blessed us with. We love you, Lord. We can't do this without you. We're not even going to try. Be with us today, Lord, for your glory and honor. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. You did well this week. I'm trusting. I'm looking forward to seeing you on Sunday. Please know that I love you and I miss you. And be good. <laughs>